hello and welcome to my channel today's video is really exciting and i'm going to be going through a new product from my shop simply gothic so if you don't know i do run my own jewelry and stationery brand called simply gothic which does gothic themed things <laughs> um so i've got a brand new planner today to show you and i'm really pleased with it and i can't wait to share it with you so if you want to hear more about this planner then do keep on watching do subscribe and I will get right into it. I've had this design on my mind for a while and I knew when I got engaged I wanted a wedding planner of some kind to make things easier and there's no gothic wedding planners really out there. You can get ones that are maybe like darker or you could get like a blank book or something but there wasn't a specific gothic wedding planner until now <laughs> so i have made one i'm really pleased with it i spent a lot of time on this getting the layouts right and also knowing really what to put in it because a lot of research had to go into this i kind of thought this would be easier to make because i've made like annual planners and undated planners but it's because i know myself like what i want in an annual planner i know that i want like lists i know that i want priority boxes and all of that but i never had a wedding planner and i've never used one obviously <laughs> so i didn't really know what to put in it so i spent so much time like researching into this also doing research in like wedding groups about what people want what people don't like in a planner and i've got the finished product here sorry if it's gone like dark um it's just gone really dark outside that looks a bit better so yeah i'm going to be going through this whole planner what's inside what you can expect for the layout now this does go live on friday where are we friday the 29th of september so i think i'm going to put this video up saturday um so i'll leave the link for this planner in the description box below i only have 10 available i think or maybe nine um because i'm keeping one for myself so after if they do sell out they will go up for pre-order if you'd like one like as soon as possible then do go and check out that link but i will start going through this now so the front cover kind of matches the whole aesthetic of this planner for this one i wanted it to feel more elegant and kind of royal feeling rather than halloween if you are doing a halloween wedding you could 100 percent use this you can customize it um but it is a black and white planner and it's very like swirly ornate like elegant feeling but it still has that like gothicness to it with all the text and all of the backgrounds i've used so right on the front it says till death do us part i feel like that's a very classic saying that a lot of goths like and then i've got this like swirly border around the edges and it says the goth wedding planner at the bottom so that's a better look at the cover as you can see it is spiral bound and it just has my logo at the bottom so this cover as you can probably tell is the same as my annual planner it's that lovely soft touch lamination to give it a really like luxurious feel i knew i wanted to do that with this because this is even more or it should feel more special than like a normal planner so definitely wanted to add that feature and yes yeah, a5 in size so it's very similar in like features to my annual planner it's hardback as well so the first page is our wedding planner this is very bright white so it might throw off my lighting a little bit but it says for the wedding of and on <laughs> so you can put your name their name and then like the date so you have that right in the front and then the next page is a quote from edgar Allan poe which says we loved with a love that was more than love <laughs> so it definitely has that like gothic twist to it have to have a poe quote <laughs> with like a rose kind of background and then it goes into the contents of the planner i wanted to keep the front part of it visually organized so you can see exactly what's in the planner and the next page is a tick list so you can like just at a glance know what you've done what you haven't so this is more like a content of the order of the planner and what it has in it so it's split up into sections which is called before the wedding the venue the attire the guests the vendors ceremony and reception wedding day and after the wedding and as you can see the text is all like my standard gothic text with 
more swirly backgrounds and then it goes into the first section which is before the wedding all of the categories are laid out like this so it'll have this page before you go into that category i thought it'd be easier than tabs i feel like tabs can get like broken and easily just damaged so i thought having this page would just help with that and then it goes into the checklist so this does have tick boxes have to have tick boxes <laughs> and it's got everything you would ever need for a wedding so you can tick it off when you've done all of those tasks now i asked in a group how much time people wanted to plan um so this does have a monthly planner in here and i've got 12 months of this i feel like a lot of people the minimum they would kind of do is like 10 months or 12 months so i have put 12 in here um i know some people plan for like years i also feel like some people don't do that so i've kind of gone in the middle with this and picked 12 months so this goes on for 24 pages so it's the exact same layout as my annual planner but different on this page so this says monthly planner it's got the month it's undated so you can write in like the month and all of the dates and it's got a rose background with a notes section down here and then this page is slightly different so it still says notes on the left hand side but these have changed so this used to be goals and it used to be about this big but i've made it into appointments and also a little to-do list because i feel like you're going to have a lot of appointments more than goals or to-do lists <laughs> That continues for like 12 months. So you do have 12 months of that. Then after that, you get to a mood board. So I feel like with planners, people love to just like get their designs down. Even if you're not getting married for a couple of years, um, you could definitely like start planning and get like the themes and the colors and like what you want it to visually look like. I made sure to put lots of space for that. I also feel like a lot of planners are very specific and if you're not doing that it's not useful to you so i've left this kind of very open i hope that helps because i know people get married like so many different ways and they want specific things and other people don't so i've tried to keep this as general as i possibly could but we've got a mood board here so you get two a5 pages and i love this background it's like a victorian kind of wallpaper design it's gorgeous and then it goes into ideas so on this it's got lines and then this it whacked myself in the face <laughs> on this page it's got lines and this page it's blank and that happens like three times so you can like get your ideas like written and then if you want to draw or you want to collage or print out photos from pinterest then you could do that on the other pages if you like to make notes or if you like to visually draw or like collage or collect images then you could do both of those in here then i've got a budget tracker <laughs> so i guess this is very important for a wedding so that's what this page looks like so it's got the date the item the budget what's that spent um and then a tick list so you can tick off everything that you have paid for so you get two pages of that then it goes into the more like before like the party so i've got like the bridal party bachelorette party and all of that so if you want to do some planning for that you've got some pages there then we also go into appointments so if you've got like vendor appointments um what's it called the venue <laughs> that word just escaped me the venue appointments like seeing where you want your wedding to be then you've got some appointment pages here so each one has a box it says name place address phone and email so you can keep all of your information in here and there's four pages of this so you get this double page and then this double page because i feel like you're probably gonna have quite a few appointments coming up and then the last page is wedding stationery so i've done this simple as a tick list um it, i put like save the dates invitations envelopes seat and chart thank you cards guest book all of these and you can write down like your suppliers that you might want for them and also your ideas and notes as well that's the before the wedding section done now we go on to the venue so this one says ceremony venue so you've kind of got like the address of it and all the contact details and what you want service wise and notes and then on this page you've got things to include and then like to draw or plan out your venue layout so i've tried to make it as visual as i possibly can then it goes into the reception venue and it's the exact same layout 
on this page. Then it goes into like the decor mood board. So I've got general decor mood board and also a table decor ideas. Like if you want like flowers or like candelabras or candles or like what the decor you want in the tables, you can kind of again, draw, write or print out photos for that. And then I've got color scheme. So I've got theme, what does that say? <laughs> theme, description and elements, notes and then color scheme planning. So you can kind of plan out that a little bit. So I've kind of like simplified this. I feel like some planners were just way too much in depth that you wouldn't fill out the section. So like some of them had like a whole category for color scheme and I feel like that's a bit much. Like obviously you want it to be like perfect and I mean it's your special day. <laughs> you want it to be like nice but I feel like this is a nice condensed way of doing it because I also felt like so many planners were very overwhelming with like how much stuff it, like I felt overwhelming making it because I was like oh my gosh how much do I have to include in this. So I feel like a simplified version that has everything you need but still like doable is just gonna make it less stressful. <laughs> And then I've got some table plan pages. So these are gridded. So you can kind of draw out like what your table style would be in, in a room. I've got two of them. And then I've got seating charts if you want to plan out those. So I have done them up to 10 and kind of make them fit on the page a bit better. But if you had like threes or fives, you could definitely like split up this section. But I feel like most people are going to have bigger tables. And then I've got the head table plan here. So you'd kind of like write people's names of where they're sitting, um, who sits where, and then any notes that you have as well. So that is the venue. Next we have the attire. So I've got wedding dress ideas and a dress mood board. Again, it's very similar to the other mood boards. You can write like maybe the styles you like or places and then kind of, again, collage, draw, write, whatever you want to do. And then I've got bridal accessories. So this is like wedding shoes. That's veil, yeah, veil. I've also got hair accessories and other, if you want other things. Like some people, I know like some gothic people go for like capes or like crowns. So you can use that for whatever you want. <laughs> then I've got bridal makeup and this is a grid. So this is kind of like your final products. So it says like type of product and shade or brand. So you could do like foundation, revolution, shade 0 0.5, which is what I wear. <laughs> I saw this in a planner because I did take inspiration from like others with like kind of what to include. And I really liked this idea because if you forget or something, you've got everything written down for what you want. Or if you've got a makeup artist, this would help. So I've got that. And then also a makeup mood board as well. Kind of what ideas you want to do. Then I've got the exact same kind of style for bridal hair. So I've got the type of product, the brand. I've made this shorter because there's not as many products for your hair. Um, notes i think that's ideas it says <laughs> hard to read it um when it's like facing this way and then also a mood board of like how you want to do your hair then i've got bridesmaids ideas again lined and mood board and then i've got grooms attire ideas and a mood board as well I do feel like it's usually the women who do the planning and love having like a planner. So I wasn't really sure whether to kind of include this, but I thought I'll just include it on two pages anyway. And then I've got the guests. <laughs> so this is an invitation list. I've got quite a few of these. It's quite hard knowing how much to put in this because the amount of people invite varies so much. Some people really like smaller weddings other people have like 100 people so it's really hard to know but i've tried to put in as many as possible without it being overwhelming so hopefully this works for as many people as possible but it's got the date sent the name then you if you've sent it like posted it or given it to them and then if they have accepted it so i've got some tables of that and this i think i've got five pages like we've got this one then a double page and then a double page because this is more like the initial list of who you'd like not the final guest list which we then go into so then you can write down all of your guests and I have done this up to 102 I thought it'd be better to make it more so if you don't use all of that it's not the end of the world but at least you won't run out of pages <laughs> so these are all numbered so you can see exactly how many guests you have 
and then it goes on to the last page which has which finishes on 102 it's kind of a random place to finish but it just ended up how i did it with all of like the line spaces and then we go into the vendors this kind of is quite repetitive so but it varies for like each one so we've got the caterer and the catering menu so again we've got like the name the company the email address the total cost the payment due and then a box of like services that you want and like budget wise so i hope that helps <laughs> and then catering menu like starters mains dessert notes and then your budget and your guest count up there wedding cake baker again like you've got all their details the services they're going to provide and then also like a vision board of how you want your cake to look so i've got plan draw your wedding cake here and then also like what flavors of cake that you want so i've got that and then i've got like photographer videographer which again it has like all of these like contact boxes and also like what you want for the photography and videography um and also like the costs down here then i've got dj and live band again very similar with the layouts oh and also song requests down here and then i've got florist and bridal bouquet and also like a flower checklist for like the flowers that you might want on the day just to kind of help you with some ideas and then also like plan draw your bouquet here flowers included so you can kind of again do a little mood board of how you envision your flower bouquet to look like i've got makeup artist and hairstylist and then also efficient And that is the end of the vendors and then i've got ceremony and reception so this is like ceremony notes that you want like any notes that you have to make and then i've got ceremony timeline which i think is really useful so you can keep this open like on your wedding day to see like what's happening so i've got like the stamp here like the time stamp which you can write and then also like so you can write what's happening at which time and then i've got a music list so i i filled out some of them but if you want like extra songs there's blank space for you to write so i've put like entrance song ceremony song cake cutting first dance dance floor music that type of stuff here so you can like plan out what song you want for all of these then i've got music playlist it's probably the most fun one i think <laughs> so you can write the song and the artist and then wedding day so this is the wedding day timeline yeah so with like the ceremony timeline that's like the time of the ceremonies so, like arrived blah, blah, blah. whereas the wedding day timeline would be like the full day so i've done one of those as well and then i've got a packing list and a daily planner again packing list i didn't think to include that but i thought it was really useful i love a packing list also if you're looking for like holiday packing lists i do have them in my shop as well and again they're like tick boxes so this is what you would need for the day like some of it's a bit extra than what you would need but better safe than sorry <laughs> and then at the bottom it's just a note box and then you've got a daily planner which has your schedule your priorities and your notes um for this and again like you could always give this to a bridesmaid or maid of honor or something who is going to do this as well and then you've got after the wedding which is the honeymoon and like thank you cards so this one says like destination budget when how long for and ideas and then on the next page it's got a gift tracker so this you can write the name of the person the gift received and then if you've sent the thank you card so you can keep track of the gifts that you receive and that's the last page the last functional page the last one is till death do us part <laughs> so hopefully by this time you've got married and you're at this stage and then i've got a lovely like skull couple facing each other with flowers and that is the plan <laughs> as you can see the pages are very like some of them are similar but some of them are very varied and this actually took such a long time for me to like get my head round to make but i'm so pleased with it when these turned up i was just like yes <laughs> this is perfect just like feature wise the pages are very thick they're almost like card feeling um 
like a finished card I would say but they're the exact same as my planner so if you have my planner you know what the quality of that is like and this is exactly the same so the price of this will be the same it will be £29.99 with free UK shipping um, it's the same price as my annual planner it's a tiny bit smaller but it took a lot more effort to make this one and it did take me longer than I thought but I'm really pleased with it I know you're absolutely going to love it and it's perfect if you're like gothic or spooky or you're having a Halloween wedding and you want something that is like suitable for your style because there really is nothing out there <laughs> like they're all white they're all pink they're all like all these light colors so this will be absolutely perfect if you have a spooky wedding coming up I also know some people like get married in like 2025 and people do buy their wedding planners fairly early um, and something also to bear in mind is because I am getting married <laughs> at some point um, my fiance is American so we're like dealing with all of that stuff at the moment so I won't be in the UK hopefully for too much longer <laughs> um, maybe a few months or something we're still waiting to hear back so I'm not sure how the entire process is going to go so if you are in the UK and you do have a spooky wedding coming up I would recommend you get this now because I won't have these available up until like 2025 in the UK at least but yeah I hope this helps I hope you love this planner I just I know you will I'm really pleased with it as I said and it just has everything you need to plan a spooky wedding so that's the gothic wedding planner let me know your thoughts in the comments below Low. Um, as I said the description box will have the direct link to it so just tap the arrow and it will send you straight there but yeah I hope you absolutely love this planner I hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next one bye